everybody feel the pain of death? The answer to that, the Prophet ﷺ told us that everyone will taste the sakarat of death. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ The intoxications of death have come in reality. And the Rasul ﷺ himself used to feel the intoxications of death. He said when he was dying, he used to wipe his forehead and he would say, SubhanAllah, إِنَّ لِلْمَوْتِ لَسَكَرَاتِ Glory be to Allah. To death, there really are intoxications. And sakra literally means intoxication. It also means to be in a state of unconsciousness. It's also used for alcohol when a person gets sakra. So death has intoxications. And this is what every person shall feel. So now the question is, how does the soul exit the body? And is there a difference between the believer and the disbeliever? Yes, there is. And the Prophet ﷺ described as if you can see it. The soul exiting from the body of the believer and the disbeliever. There is a long hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was sitting once with his companions and a janazah passed by and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked about that person and then he ran. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walked very fast until he reached the place, fell to his knees and he began to weep. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam began to cry a little bit. He brought a stick and he started to poke it into the ground like this and look up into the sky. And then he said to his companions, Seek refuge in Allah from the punishment of the grave. And they sought refuge. Then he said again, Seek refuge in Allah from the punishment of the graves. And they all said, and he said it a third time. Then the Prophet ﷺ looked at us and said, The believing person, when he is about to depart from this world, to be detached from the world, and he is almost about to go into the hereafter, two beautiful angels will come down from the sky. They have got beautiful faces full of light, as if their face is the sun itself. They have perfume from paradise and they have shrouding a shroud from paradise. And then they wrap him and they place the perfume in him and the angel of death is there. And he says to the soul of the believer, come out, come out to a pleasure from your Lord. Come out, come out to a, to a luxury that you are going to receive from your Lord. O beautiful, pure soul. The Prophet ﷺ said, the soul of the believer comes out just like water spilling from a jug. And the two angels, they don't allow the angel of death to hold it for long at all. For as soon as they can, they take the soul off him and they climb up with it into the heavens. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi told us, as for the bad souls, the opposite happens. Two angels who look terrible, whose face is darkened and horrible, they come down. And the angel of death stands at the head. And the two angels bring with them ugly smelling smell from hellfire. And the angel of death says, اخرجي ايتها الروح الخبيثة Come out, O oh dirty, stinking soul. Come out to a wrath from your Lord and a displeasure from Him. And the hadith says that the soul runs away inside the body. And he rips it out. When he rips it out, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi gives an example, an image, like a thorny tree inside of wet wool. And you rip it out. But the point is, he feels it or she feels it. He says, as soon as the angel of death carries the soul, the two angels grab it. Put it in this shroud from hellfire and this ugly smelling stuff from hellfire. And they go up into the heavens as well. But every time he passes a group of angels, they say, Whoa, what is this thinking soul? And everyone run away from it. It will reach the first sky. It will be asked to open the doors for it. And they refuse. Allah says this in the Quran actually. He's saying those who disbelieved in our ayat, our signs, and, and they had arrogance and vanity over it, the doors of the skies will not open for them. They will never enter paradise until the camel enters through the hole of a needle. Is it possible for a camel to enter through that hole? Or the angels throw the soul down from the top, they throw it. That's what Allah says.